From the last time we met, we were eating fat sows. After watching this dope ass documentary called Game Changers, more now than ever motivated to be plant based. And I'm, I'm, I kind of want to give it another crack at it. I kind of want to challenge myself to see if I could do it. Just from listening from all these other high level former athletes talk about the benefits, the way their bodies are feeling, the way they're performing. You know, it's giving me the incentive to want to try it myself. So we're headed out to get some vegan food right now. So let's roll. He's rolling too. I tried this spot called Sun Cafe, I think. I didn't like it, I wasn't a fan. I'm gonna give it another try. I'm gonna order something else. Let's see what's up. Ghost goes vegan. Ghost, you wanna go vegan too? I don't care what you eat anyway. Oh, going vegan. You know, they say the greatest way to test a man's discipline is to pray to change his diet. Actually, that's what I say. It's not what they say. I said that. You know, you're with yourself all day, right? So it's so easy to step away from the plan. Who's gonna be there to police you when you want some Doritos? Doritos are not being in. Not the cool ranch. Not the nacho cheese. It's just like, if, you ain't, if you're not eating those, why are you even eating Doritos? It's also verde. Those are fire and those are vegan, but you, know, you gotta like spicy shit like that. I rock with them. But I don't eat Doritos, but I did. The day that I was able to give up Doritos, it was like one of the most liberating days of my life. You know, I mean, I've, I mean, I've been addicted to Doritos for 20 years. I then found out that Oreos were vegan, and then all was well. A lot of the athletes that were talking on Game Changers documentary, there was a real, <laughs> there you go. There's a real consensus amongst them all, and that was that the plant-based diet gave them more energy. And if you guys watched the Day in the Life video, you know that I'm up at 4.50 in the morning and I'm going to 6.30 at night before I can even sit down and actually relax. So anything that I think could uh, help me gain more energy to sustain my day, I'm all for it. That's what it's all about, being efficient and being productive. That's how you get successful, and that's how you get the bag. That's what we're here for. And to motivate and inspire. So we're here at Sun Cafe. Our first look at the menu. Already right now, I see a couple of things that I definitely want to try. I'm actually looking at all the crawfish. I don't even know why I'm pretending like some things have popped out. It's just there's bold letters that say crowd favorite, so that's what I'm attracted to right now. They have this mac and cheese, the baked lasagna, the margarita pizza. And it's funny because I saw some lasagna in the documentary, so I really lean it towards that. I haven't had lasagna in years because of Derek. Let me call B. Marsh because he was vegan at one point and he's got the vegan chef on deck. B, what's up, bro? How you doing? I just watched this documentary called uh, Game Changers on. Netflix, you heard of it? Yeah, that shit inspired me to go back plant-based. I want to get connected with that chef you had while you were out here. Ah, damn. Well, the chef moved to DC, but you know, birds of a feather flock together. So we're gonna see if she's tapped in with anybody else in her network that's still out here in LA. See if we can get connected because I think the easiest way to execute this diet is to have some recipes. I think part of the reason why people steer away from the plant-based diet is because they just don't know what to cook. I mean, that's part of my problem. I'm trying to solve it. It's just a lack of experience. You only know what you've been exposed to. So like, it's really easy for me to help someone accomplish something with their body because I have that experience, right? So it only makes sense for me to reach out to someone who's a vegan, specifically a chef, because uh, they have the experience. As I was watching the documentary, we had a few NFL players that I am very familiar with, played in the league at the same time as these guys. One of them um, was one of my teammates, it was Wesley Woodyard. He now plays for the Tennessee Titans. One of the players' wives from the Titans, Derek Morgan's wife specifically, is a chef. She's kind of solely responsible for turning a lot of the guys on the defensive side of the ball vegan. So I just texted my homie Wood, basically just told him, man, you know, I'm looking to, to reach out to, to his teammate's wife um, to purchase a cookbook or just anything that she should be willing to do for me. And he said he may be in LA right now as we speak, so they must be on a bye week. So I'm gonna hit him up right now, see what's good, and hopefully we can connect because I am really serious about this lifestyle change and I need all the help I can get. I mean, they mentioned this in the documentary too but Tennessee Titans hadn't been to the playoffs for 11 years the year that they decided to go vegan or plant-based the first year they made it back into the playoffs which was last year so shout out to them for staying committed whether or not plant-based diet helped them go to the playoffs they did it while being plant-based so this arm is just a religious sleeve if you want to know the meaning behind all my tattoos 
comment below, we'll cook up a video and I'll explain them all. I got the lasagna, cashew cheese, and walnut pesto. My first bite wasn't bad. My second bite was fire. You know, it takes a couple seconds for it to sit in, but uh, a lot of flavor. The bean and cheese is all right. I mean, it doesn't really taste like cheese to me. I mean, in that sense, that makes it perfect because it's, it's its own thing rather than trying to be like, you know, that makes it make sense. So, safe to say that that shit was fire. Very delicious, very filling. And just like everyone else says, they eat plant based. Like, I'm satisfied. I'm not full. I feel good. Ready to go attack the day. Ready to pay this bill. Get up out of here. I gotta do some work on the computer. So, let's see if this food will be beneficial in my next couple hours. And on that note, I go, all right, I'm out of here.